All right, folks. The VZ58 Concept Tier 9 Premium Check Heavy Tank. So unlike the recent TT-130M, a space armored brick of a rocket heavy tank, this vehicle is more in line with the usual playstyle for Czech heavies. Autoloaders with gun depression, mobility, and sometimes workable armor. But this vehicle kinda looks like the hull front of a 277. Not as well sloped for the driver hatch, but it is still rounded. The turret looks like a stock STI turret, heavily modified. Like a heavily modified IS turret, like a 701, but large commander cube light in the back the upside is periscope covering the front might eat the shot the gunner sights kind of flat or unless that's the machine gun port but eh, still workable i guess not the worst looking heavy tank on the list so definitely faster <laughs> than the space armor brick the tt-130m <laughs> has 17.5 horsepower per ton ratio with 4 round autoloader of a 122. It is capable of dealing damage and has surprisingly high DPM for autoloader at tier 9. It's better than the 116F3 at tier 10 <laughs> in terms of DPM but not the worst looking of vehicles, definitely more streamlined than something of a Object 752, in a sense, also has a loader compared to the 752. It is also a premium as well, but this will definitely feel right at home for those who already have the Skoda T56, in a sense. It is not as big of a caliber, but 4 round clip is nothing to scoff at, right? Still packs a punch. But definitely, round the hull front, that might throw a few shots. 8 degrees of gun depression helps out a lot with this armor as well. Yeah, the commander cupola is still kind of the weak spot, but this periscope might save your life, <laughs> surprisingly. Might eat the shot. But definitely put a machine gun on the back. It will be nice, like a dushka on the back. Oh well. But yeah, definitely feels right at home for Czech heavy tank players. So super test stats, 440 alpha for the 122. 4 rounds in the clip, 3.5 seconds between each shot, and takes about 35 seconds for the whole clip. It's actually relatively fast for such an autoloader, right? It's not a 2 round clip, but the DPM on this machine is 2400 or so, which is pretty good <laughs> without the rammer too. So AP round flies decently fast enough, APCR for gold shell. Penetration is also not bad, you don't usually carry high explosive with autoloaders, but 3 seconds of aim time, accuracy kind of crap, 0.44, but 8 degrees of gun depression, 20 elevation, 40 rounds, reloads 9 times, 4 man crew, fits all the VZs, Eskoda T56s, top speed of 36, so about the same as the tier A premium, close enough, but reverse of 16. 17.5 horsepower per ton ratio that is above average average is about 14 or so that is relatively good if this thing has like 20 with like 50 kilometers per hour top speed that would be pretty fast but yeah top speed is not as good as the vz51 but still workable 1750 health like with the 752 right close enough 270 millimeter for the turret front and turret sides are 110 hull front is 110 and sides are 70 so doesn't look like the V shape on the Skoda T56 or the VZ55 but it is space armor you see that? that looks like space armor crevice so this toolbox or boxes might be space armor like with the Russian vehicles that's a better picture. You see that? That's a sp space armor crevice right there. So it might be space armor on the sides. We have to see the actual armor profile on this vehicle, but might be pretty good. View range 390, fine. Radio is standard, fine. Not a bad vehicle, right? Yeah, definitely looks like a 701 modified turret. 
also with the gun access port on top. Might be like the infamous IS-3 weak spot on top of the turret, but might as well shoot the cupola, right? DPM 2400 <laughs> for autoloader at tier 9. That is good. Accuracy is crap, but yeah, you could make up for it with improved aiming. So aim time, uh, okay-ish. 2.8. What, what was it like? Yeah, 2.8. Yeah, aim time accuracy could be the downside to this vehicle, but mm, eh, I still feel it's fine. The trade-off for four rounds of 122. Yeah, th there are trade-offs. 3.5 seconds between each shot. 8 degrees of gun depression. Fine. And the alpha damage is still pretty good. It's 105 for the whole front compared to 110. And only 80 for the turret sides compared to 110. So, slight Inconsistency, but nothing much. 57 tons. <laughs> 1,000 horsepower engine. 17.5 horsepower per ton ratio. Definitely put a turbocharger on this thing. 36 kilometers per hour top speed. 16 is good for going backwards, but 6% camouflage rating. That's alright. It's decent enough of a breakthrough heavy tank. View range, radio, standard. It is breakthrough, right? Breakthrough. Mm -hmm. But four man crew fits all the check heavy tanks. Yeah, this thing is definitely better than the TT 130M. <laughs> definitely. It has more DPM for an autoloader by 400 or at least 300 compared to the Space Armor Brick. <laughs> and it's also a premium. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright, I mean. I guess it's yeah. This thing's a pre. Uh, it will it will be nerf. I feel this thing will be nerf. Something of a DPM nerf. Accuracy could be buffed or aim time could be buffed, but they will nerf the DPM, right? They will nerf the DPM or maybe nerf the mobility a little bit. Seventeen point five is pretty goddamn good, like real good. Hmm. Yeah, the reload time for the for the gun is good, even though intershell reload is. Kind of long, but still, you're used to it with the 3 seconds on the Skoda T56. So nothing too worse about the longer, slightly longer, half a second between each shell. But yeah, DPM feels high for autoloader. Just in case, if, you, if you're wondering, the 116 F3 that you will get from Clan Wars, if you play Clan Wars, has sub 2000 DPM for a tier 10 heavy tank. <laughs> This thing has 400 more DPM than that vehicle. Ugh. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> Playing Clan Wars. So some vehicles with the check heavy tanks don't really need the autoloader. They will eat the DPM. For example, the tier 9 VZ51. If you put the autoloader on this vehicle with the 122, DPM goes down to 1,600. Without it, with the cyclic gun, it's 2,200. So why why the hell would you put autoloader on this vehicle when you have a decent turret? This cupola is stronger than the rest at tier 10, than this cupola, or the premium tier 8, than this cupola. So this cupola is small, a sliver, but this vehicle <laughs> with the autoloader has 200 more dp- <laughs> Has 200 more dpm than- <laughs> The non autoloader <laughs> cyclic gun, which is a, yeah, it has more DPM than the, uh, by 120, but balance. <laughs> we do see a lot more premium tier 9s and premium tier 8s than premium tier 8s nowadays, but yeah, <laughs> traditionally, premium tanks are supposed to be worse, but not really. So, for this vehicle, equipment wise, uh, turbocharger. Maybe vertical stabilizer, depending on the dispersion. So I feel dispersion might be kind of bad. Might put this thing on. You can also put improved aiming to help out with the accuracy. Or just possibly vents with both the aim time and the accuracy. But yeah, turbocharger feels good. With only 36 carbon power top speed. So it is autoloader. Cannot put a rammer on this thing. But you don't need optics. You don't need... Like, enhanced gun lane drive, I don't feel you need this thing. This is very situational. 
this is outclassed by vertical stabilizer nowadays, but yeah, equipment is relatively decent, simple, but field mods for breakthrough heavy tanks, better terrain resistance or track health. So effectively better hull traverse speed, but I say better terrain resistance, you go faster, right? You want to go faster with better mobility. And plus this thing has the 58 kilometers per hour top speed with about 15 horsepower per ton ratio. So I put a turbocharger on this, this thing could go fast, but doesn't have the engine power like with the VZ58. So yeah, better mobility, all right? Make it go faster with the auto loader. Accuracy or aim time. I'm using the cyclic gun. I'm not using the auto loader on this vehicle, but I feel better accuracy, right? You could take a hit to the aim time. It's 3.5 seconds between each shell, so you have the time to aim. Give it slightly better accuracy at 0.4 or so. Maybe even more with the improved aiming. Yeah, accuracy could be a little bit buffed up. And view range or stun duration. Don't get hit by artillery, just more view range. <laughs> Definitely. This is very situational to put better protection against stun duration. I mean, this is only useful for something like you're sitting in the open with a very heavily armored, like a Type 5 or mouse, but you'll be picked on. Why? Why would you? It's a bukkake of artillery shells. <laughs> go with better view range. Just go with better view range. And finally, top speed or traverse speed and aim speed. This counteracts the second slot, or this slot, so these two counteracts, but if you already put aim time, this will counteract it for better mobility. I would say better top speed. You have the engine power, right? You have the engine power. The top speed is still if, so make it go faster by 4 is pretty good. It's almost a turbocharger, right? So, yeah, make it go faster. How the hell would I rate this vehicle? Holy crap, it feels good. It does feel good as a premium tier 9. Oof. Compare this to something of a 752. Yeah, I feel 752 might be outclassed, especially without the loader as a premium tier 9. Yeah, this thing it has a loader. I keep forgetting this thing has a loader. I always remember the freaking object 590 in replacement. It's like, oh, it's a small vehicle, small turret. Must not have a loader. <laughs> Whoops. As a loader, but yeah, the cupola on these two freaking bulges, it's pretty prominent. So that's why you elevate the gun, hide the bulge in the in the ring of the turret. <laughs> but uh, yes, how much would I rate this vehicle? Holy crap! It feels it feels nice, right? It does feel pretty consistent, even though accuracy might be if, aim time might be if, but. It's no different than the 3.3 .3 aim time <laughs> on this thing. This thing has only 1,800 DPM. You see that? That's 600 less <laughs> than the 2,400. You see how much DPM this vehicle has? That is insane. And the aim time's faster. Accuracy is not as good, granted, but okay, fine. Accuracy, ooh, ooh la la, fine, whatever. Has better horsepower per ton ratio. Not as good top speed, but still weighs more. Technically could go ramming. And it has four rounds in the clip. So reloads almost the same time. 31 seconds compared to 33, but one more shell in the autoloader. Smaller cupola or less cupolas on top. With better horsepower per ton ratio. Why not what why not? <laughs> Yeah, this thing definitely feels like at least 6.5, right? With that DPM, it feels like a 6.5. At least. Armor-wise, could be weak for the hull armor compared to the 752. 752 has a very trollish upper plate and lower plate. So you have to aim for the weak spots with this vehicle. But this vehicle, the VZ58, has better DPM, better aim time. About the same, it's the same gun depression, but better elevation <laughs> and better horsepower per ton ratio, which is dramatic, right? Four more horsepower per ton ratio is a big deal. 6.5 at least, 6.5 definitely at least. 
It feels we have to see the actual armor, but on paper, pretty pretty insane. Well, there you go, folks. The VZ58 concept, premium tier nine, likely coming to loot boxes or something. <laughs> Yeah, we do see a lot more tier 9s, like special tier 9s or premium tier 9s than premium tier 8s nowadays, but that is where the money is at, I guess. <laughs> so as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.